Welcome to Free Range Father. My name is Bo, and this is a 50 hour service on a Rock Shop Pike by Zeke. Hi, my name is Zeke. Today I'm going to do a 50 hour service with an added dust wiper replacement on my dad's Rock Shop Pike from his 2017 Stump Jumper Pro. First, we'll remove the front wheel using a 6 millimeter wrench. Next, we'll remove the brake caliper bolts with a 5 millimeter wrench. Whoa! Using a 2.5 millimeter wrench, remove the hose guide. Let's secure that caliper to the handlebar. Be sure not to squeeze the brake lever or you'll have to reset the pistons. Let's remove the air valve cap and release the air. Stinky air. Let's rotate the bike. First, we need to remove the rebound knob. We'll use a 2.5 Allen. Loosen each shaft bolt three to four turns using a five millimeter wrench. Place something under the fork to catch the oil. Using a hammer and a 5 mil socket, strike the socket to release the shaft from the lower. While holding the lower, remove the bolt completely. Next, remove the lower, like in the game, operation. Careful not to touch the shafts. This is where it gets a little messy. Now that's a yucky part. With the low remove, clean the outside using a lint-free rag and alcohol. Open the dust wiper kit, take the foam rings out, and soak them in Raksha OW30 oil. While those are soaking, remove the old foam rings with a dental pick. Using the end of a comb wrench or a downhill tire lever, pile the old dust wipers. <laughs> Once those are removed, take a lint-free rag and alcohol, clean the inside and the outside of the lower. After cleaning, get the soaked foam rings and install on the top of the bushing. Now grab your dust wiper install tool and dust wipers. We need to take the spring off the wiper. Using the hammer, strike the tool firmly and evenly until the dust wiper is even with the top of the lower. Reinstall the spring and repeat on the other side. Now apply a fair amount of slick honey to the inside of the dust wiper. Take note of the lower direction and carefully slide the shafts into the lower until the dust wipers reach the upper tubes. Carefully work the dust wipers onto the upper tube without folding the wiper lip and push about halfway. Rotate the bike so the lower is 
pointing slightly up. My dad uses these for Motrin to help with my growing pains. We're going to use this to inject oil into the lower. On this fork, we put 10 milliliters on each side. Slowly slide the lower the rest of the way until the shaft bottoms out and the threads are visible. Using a lint free rag and rubbing alcohol, clean the lowers where the screw will be inserted. Take the black bolt and thread it into the non drive side shaft. Take the silver bolt and thread it into the drive side shaft. Look, there's a bunny rabbit here and a turtle here. Fast and slow. That shows us the rebound speed. Set your torque wrench to 7.3 newton meters and tighten the shaft. Let's reinstall the rebound knob and tighten it with a 2.5 millimeter wrench. Using shock pump, pressurize the air spring to the recommended setting for your right or right. We're going to 85 psi. Let's reinstall the air cap. Let's reinstall the brake caliper loosely. Let's reinstall the wheel into the fork. Now let's tighten it with our 6 mil. Set your torque wrench between 9.5 13 newton meters for the maxil. We need to set the caliper. Squeeze the brake lever three times. Pull it on the last one and tighten the caliper. Work the caliper bolts to 9.5 newton meters. All we gotta do now is put the hose guide on and clean it up. With a microfiber rag and rubbing alcohol, we'll do a final cleanup. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have questions, add a comment below. Like this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified about new content like this. Have fun riding!